Most of us will see lush rolling hills in the Pennsylvania Highlands, but Chuck Wagner, he sees grounds for hope. America was really hurt, hurting in those days. And this was a place where people came to heal. This place is the Flight 93 Memorial near Shanksville. On 9-11, 40 passengers and crew members on United Flight 93 decided to fight the four terrorists who took control of their plane. The hijackers crashed it into a field 18 minutes before it could get to Washington. The efforts of 40 brave men and women that day cost them their lives, but saved hundreds at the Capitol. Today, a tower of voices honors their sacrifice. 40 wind chimes inside a 93-foot-tall instrument, a memorial in sound, voices living on. Chuck Wagner has also found a way to honor their heroism, a memorial in pictures. This was truly a special place, and I wanted to be able to share it with uh, the world, basically, uh, uh, to see what I've been seeing and uh, try to experience in their way what I've experienced. The most fulfilling pictures, I've, to me, I take, are of emotional pictures of people's reactions to what they're looking at. From the visitor center overlook that juts out along the flight's path, people see a memorial plaza and a wall of names, a simple, powerful remembrance that draws hundreds of thousands of visitors every year. From a respectful distance, Wagner captures scores of moments as people left tributes, flowers, flags, even medals, looking for a way to touch history. Some people didn't have anything in their car and they would just uh, leave a toy from their child or just any other kitchen tool, seriously, and leave uh, there's something to make a connection to the site. One of Chuck's most powerful images was taken near the wall of names. Just on the other side, a few hundred yards away, there is a boulder. It is a marker for both the crash site and a burial site. Only family members of the 40 are allowed to get this close to the impact site, where a few years ago, unidentified remains were buried. The little boy in this photo lost his father on 9-11. Yeah, and he was sort of emotionally connecting with his dad, I think, on a rock laying over top of it. So his grandfather then asked me for a copy of the picture. He, he appreciated the, the emotion brought forth that his grandson was mourning for his own father. That morning will forever be attached to a story of heroes, regular people who hoped to make a difference, who hoped to save lives, and did. It's one last picture I wanted to show you. A common field one day, a field of honor forever. That's right. See, it's a, it's a beautiful picture. What does, it, what does it say to you? What does it mean to you? It says hope. Hope. Something good can come out of something bad. Now, as you flip through the book, you flip through the photos, you'll see quotes interspersed among the pictures there. They are part of an oral history project that the National Park Service is doing. Chuck included them in the book to sort of give you an idea of what the families and first responders were thinking uh, as they were working at that site, as families remember their loved ones, Shep. The idea being that the 40 people, the heroes on that plane, should never be forgotten. Their stories should always be told. He's a good, he's a good holder of that. Beautiful spot. Thanks, Thanks Aaron.